welcome back once again and uh, we have uh, started the topic which are for the equivalent capacity equivalent capacity of the capacitors and they are connected in series combination now uh, we are heading towards another topic that is if the capacitors are connected in parallel combination so here it is derive an expression for equivalent capacitance of the capacitors in parallel combination. So here it is, definition is when two or more capacitors are connected between the same two points in a circuit. In case of series, they were not having same points, they were different. So that the voltage across all the capacitor is the same, then it is called parallel combination of capacitors, voltage, in parallel it is same but voltage in potential difference in case of series combination is the difference so here it is explanation consider three capacitors c1 c2 c3 are connected in parallel between two plates a and b two points between a and b the potential difference between the plates of each capacitor is the same because they uh, there's both the plates are the common they are commonly connected to the same potential. So that's why they are having the same potential. So it is V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V. So when charge Q is applied to the capacitor C1, C2, and C3, they acquire different amount of charges, Q1, Q2, and Q3, such that this total amount of charge which you have supplied through, with the help of battery, it is distributed among the three options, three capacitors that is one it is q1 for two it is q2 for three it is q3 if you look at this figure here it is uh, look it, it is considered like a, a daily a life example from example from our life if there is a single pipeline first we uh, let's understand from our daily routine daily uh, life example if it is a water single pipeline and if Further, it is allowed to break into three three lines. If, if anyone asks you, is that the line one and two have the same amount of water as the main line is carrying as it is in this case? No, it is splitted, it is broken, it is further divided into three portions. So number of the water flowing in this line, in this line, in this line will be the different. If you sum up all these, then it will be equal to the main line. But if anyone asks you, is it same that whatsoever the amount of water is moving through the, this pipeline, a single pipeline, it is of the same quantity to the other. So it's not possible. It is divided in three branches. It, is, it, ha, it got three options to move. So it will be divided in three places. So that's why if you, if you change in the case of the current, if you change in, in the same concept, apply in the case of the charges, then the, such amount of charges are flowing through this. If they will move above in three branches, then it is clear with the same concept that it is divided into three branches and the different amount of charges will be reaching at the plates, the, uh, the capacitor C1, C2 and C3 capacitances. So that's why this is the concept of uh, having different charges in case of capacitors one, two and three. But what about the uh, potential difference? Of course, if this is a plus, this one is a minus potential of the battery. Look at this, the, the players of all the capacitors, one, two, and three, they are connected along the same potential. So one is the logic that all types of the potential will be having the same value of the potential on these players because they are connected along the same type of the potential that is single, potential value that is all the players are connected along the same type of the potential so that's why they are carrying the same amount of the potential this plate is carrying potential plus and this carrying plus whatsoever the potential is on one capacitor it will be the same to the other and same it will be in case of the third if here it is to the potential v same will be here and same will be on third but the charges will be different on each capacitor. So here it is. Then the total amount of charges which are supplied through the main line are the main, that are divided into three capacitors, one, two, and three. And we will add up the total amount of the charges to show 
but these were the amount of charges which, which, which were supplied by the battery and these were divided in three capacitors and sum is equal to the total. So here it is Q is equal to CV, then Q1 is equal to C1V because the capacitance will be different it will be to the different uh, charges. So here it is as Q3 and here it is equivalent capacitance. And this equivalent capacitance will be equal to C1, V1, C2, V2, potentially same because I have already discussed they are common. They are one plate of all the capacitor is connected to one terminal and the other plate of all the capacitor is connected to the same terminal. They have the common terminals connected. So the amount of energy will be the same. So here it is. If you take the common that is equivalent capacitance is equal to V and this V is cancelled. So equivalent capacitance is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. This is the case where there are only three capacitors connected in parallel combination. Move back once again. If you look at this one, this was the idea. This this is the concept that the potential across each plate is same. So the charges across the plates will be the different. So you have added all the charges together to find out the total amount of charges. Right? Then you have used the basic technique to explain with the help of this diagram, how the charges will, will, will remain will be the different and how the potential will be the same because they are connected to the same terminal. So if we move further, here it is. We are using this formula to calculate the amount of the charges. If you look at to calculate Q1, Q2, and Q3, we have calculated then equivalent capacitance. So this was our task to calculate equivalent capacitance in case of the capacitors when they are connected in parallel combination. So this is the equivalent capacitance. For nth number of the capacitor, you will add the all types of the capacitance together up to nth and you will use mathematical technique. This i is equal to uh, one, one up to n. So nth number of capacitors are added and finally you are getting, you will add the capacitance, all the capacitors and you see the individual capacitance, the capacitance of the capacitor will increase. So if you have, if you are given, there is an application at your home stage, uh, at home. If there is a, if you go, you need 100 microfarad capacitors for any type, type of electrical appliance. And if you go in the market and market, there are available 50, 50 microfarad. Then what will you do? You have to use the basic learn technique. You will ask for two. If, if he asks, what will you do? You will explain that I will use in series com uh, parallel combination and due to parallel combination, the capacitance will add up. I will use instead of uh, one, I will use two, and then it will be added, it will become 100 farad. So these, these are the techniques when you are having less values of the capacitors available in the market, and you are not getting the single value, single capacitor. Then for time being to solve the problem, you will get the number of the capacitors, and you will add up the capacitance of all the capacitors, and you will get the desired one for your usage. So these are some of the applications which are uh, used in your life to understand. Uh, you can use two capacitors if one is not available. So that's the solution of some of the problems if you have understood the topic. So if you move back, this was the concept from where you have started. You have started to explain what is the combination. Uh, it, is, it is a combination uh, which is called parallel combination where same uh, connected between the same two points in a circuit. So voltage across all the capacitor is same in case of the parallel combination, but the potential will be the different. Potential will be the same for the charges in case of sorry, potential will be the same for the charges will be the different in case of uh, uh, parallel combination. Then we finally decided to explain the basis of this diagram. We have discussed in detail what the diagram tells us, how it is explained. Then I have told you to calculate the charges across each capacitor. And then you have calculated the capacitance, equivalent capacitance for three capacitors. Then you moved up to the nth number of the capacitors. And then you have added by using normal mathematical uh, techniques to add nth number of the factors. And finally, I have given you some suggestions or solutions at your home. Sometimes uh, you need to uh, install some of the capacitors in washing machine or any other uh, fan, ceiling fan or any other uh, appliances. If you think, if you see that uh, this is the solution, you're not getting 100% 100 
farad micro farad faster you are getting 250 then get it you raise in parallel combination their fastness will be the sum that is 100 then you can find the solution so with this i thank you all for your patience i hope you people have understood today's topic